evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 career mode. It's your man, Positive Glad, bringing you live coverage. And we're here today. We're on double figures for episodes, and we're still in Season 1. Jesus Christ. We've got a long way away from finishing Season 1. Uh, we have got ourselves a little break now, up until the next game. Ten-day break after having that pretty adequate draw um, against uh, Kiz and Ash at the end of the previous stream. And yeah, uh, basically, um, defence shot. At the end of the episode, the defence was kind of finding a little bit of consistency. The only thing we had was Richardson was struggling a little bit. But we're doing all right. I love Alfredson just can't do anything against us and then go batter Farsley, who battered us. Makes no sense. Uh, he's manager Dartford. I do not want him to go. My sister manager could be leaving. Uh, wow, well, yeah, okay, we'll go there. Wicked, yeah, that, that works for us. I'm not going to want him to leave. I mean, what's the fucking point in that? That's just stupid. That's just ruining ourselves. Who's that? Dan Dan's with a sub. Thank you very much. Um, that is subscribed 25 months, two years a month. Thank you very much, Dan. That's much appreciated. Um, what a start. Give me that sub. <laughs> Must be that. Blackpool, Burnley, Grimsby, and Rotherham in the third round of the FA Cup. A place we can only dream of reaching, of course. Uh, right, so Rotherham and Burnley do what you'd expect them to. Right then, so we have ourselves now a... Well, our next venture, which is the next four matches of Kramer. Wimbledon, Birmingham. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Birmingham beat Wimbledon. That was also expected. Uh, do, 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 do. Turn the volley right down. Am I speaking? Yeah, yep, I can hear myself, guys. Just wanted to make sure. Right. Okay. Ethan Wassell is becoming a very, very good player. So we got him there. So we'll go there. Three and a half star to four and a half star. Here we go then. So we've got that right there. We've got one, two, six matches, guys, we've got here. So let's get rolling. It's died to choke again. At home as well. Awesome. So they've choked on that. So that was a pretty good start there for us. We will take that. Uh, Darlington went a bloody lost. Which is fucking awesome. And Blythe got beat by Spennymore. Which puts them third. Kingsley won. So there we go. Boston lost though. So we do have them next episode, I believe. So now we have got how many days is it? Five days to the next game. Here we go, guys. We've got ourselves three days now until the next game is Telford. So we've had a big break. But everyone is now on the same games. Darlings have fucked up again. Uh, recruitment's focus completed. We've got an A+. Plus. We haven't. Ah! Well, we got an A. <laughs> Who'd you fucking think? <laughs> fucking hell, what a cunt. I know exactly why. Give it a minute, guys. Just gonna mute the mic. Family gossip. Back, <laughs> fucking assholes. Right, um, moving on. Uh, what Blythe are going? Rich is going to Whitby. What the fuck is he going there for? Banbury's Brown going over to the south in Taunton. Remember, Banbury are pretty much on the way out of the league. 
I've noticed how none of Telford's players are leaving, though. That's curious. I'm kind of a bit nervous about this game, even though they are bottom of the table. I've not got the best reputation against facing bottom of the table. I don't give a fuck about the FA Cup. Fuck off. There you go. We've got my first versus 24th, 18th, third. Darlington have actually fell out of second place. That's how much of a shit run they're on. we got to watch for Spennymore now, though. Spennymore seem to be on the charge. But we do have a game in hand, though, and we can move ourselves into the 60s in terms of points. And that's still... With 19 games left to play. Um, Richardson, you could go there because you've been much better than I done. That guy's a fucking menace to himself and us. And that's a burp. Uh, Goodrich, get yourself in midfield, brother. Uh, we got Josh Woods, of course, our new striker. Uh, 22 years old. Accrington striker on the bench. But you can't. Says Mitchell's still not getting game time, which I don't kind of understand why not, but I guess you can't take off Bun, he's on form at the moment. Mark, Herbert, da, 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 Berkey, Riley, Leonard. So guys, unchanged. We are unbeaten now in three league games, I think. No, four league games, actually. We had Leamington as well, didn't we? We only lost in the FA Cup. Um, that was against Gateshead, and it was a hell of a comeback. We put on a hell of an effort against that team. We just played fucking shite in the first half. Uh, but we can't do that anymore. We can't afford to play shit for half of a game. If we're going to be looking at going up and making an impact in the next division, we're going to have to go up and immediately do it. We can't fanny around. We do have one We've got Allen. We've got people who can do damage against us. But just haven't done damage against anybody else. I mean, look, we've got Brizzy on the bench, Wassel on the bench. Oh, oh, there you go. We have been unbeaten in three. Forgive me. There you go. Unbeaten in three. And they're witless in four. I aim to make it with us in four, so... So, Telford, bottom of, the, bottom of the pile. We are top of the table. Game and how we are 10 points clear, no matter what we do here. So, I prefer to be 13 points clear. It is a much, much nicer margin. So, let's go. Off we go. First match of the stream. Probably the longest it's taken me to get into a game, to be fair. Roddy for Tamworth. Oh, Kirby's robbed it. Kirby's robbed it. Ah, oh, he's lost it. He should have immediately passed it. Well, 
So we are rocking. We've already got a 1.95 XG. Who's that in the chat? It is a Pokemon. Oh, fuck's sake. Why is there any Grimers in the fucking chat? Fuck's sake. Why would you... This is a great start to the stream. We just need to work on defensive. Even Richard succeeds, he's got a 6.6, .6, but every defender's having a fantastic game. It must just be Telford creating the goals really well, to be fair. 
Uh, Woods, um, I think he's a pressing forward attack, isn't he? I'll just make sure of that. I will double check that, guys, after this. Uh, pressing forward attack. We are stopping Bainham getting the hat trick, but it's fine. I'd rather that to happen than Bainham to get a hat trick and get injured immediately after. It's something I don't want to risk. Um, we've got a really, really big running coming up. And Woodsy's not happy because he's not starting, but what more can I do about that? Newton with the free kick. Oh, right. Oh, man, it's a post. I hate that angle because you can't fucking see what's happening. It's a free kick here by Harry Bond. He's due a goal, to be fair. And he's got a goal. Go late for the season. Perfect timing. Awesome. High fives for Buxton. We score two. We score three. As many as we want. Jake Mark. Oh, that big ball. Don't put the ball away. Wish we had Jake Mark, but a slightly better player than him. Which is some fine looks on the side. Well, well, well. That ironically is his first save of the game. Just want to throw that out there. 33% save ratio is not good if we get big at battle. We can see the 20. Out of the way. Brown and Bond gathers his thoughts. Don't think too much, buddy. But Bond is, takes the ball away. Newton. Highlights carried on. Bond. Pings it upfield. DDG. What's he? Yes! This thing is From the bench. This guy is in the <laughs> fucking hell. Bond, beautiful, DDG, excellent. Woods, easy. That's the confidence there. Come on, buddy. Get in there. What's the nap in the squad? <laughs> Wassel, could we've actually nearly got two lots of the team. We just need more midfielders now. We need more depth in midfield. If Kirby or Malt go down, we are in trouble. Oh, no. Possibly better goalkeeper here. There you go. It's 5 3. 6 3, sorry. <laughs> Fucking hell game. But Richardson did get a hand on it though, so okay. Oh no, he got a tick on it. Yes, it's better. It's better. No, it's not better, is it really? Let's, let's face it. Guys, that was utterly mental. Every goal we scored, we were predicted to, so we played as well as what we did. We should have, so to speak. Woodsy even come off the bench and scored. And Harry Bum with the free kick. Guys, the perfect way to start the stream, 6-3. Well, it would be better 6-0. But, I mean, yeah. You, you take what you can, guys, can't you, really? But, um, yeah, great stuff. Um, we move 13 points clear of both Spenny Moore and Darlington. Darlington choked again, I believe. But that was just unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 34 goals. He's nearly on a goal a game. Darlington choked against Farsley of all people. Farsley is stopping everybody this season. But they don't get any other points. 19. When DDG has played. DDG has played 20. No. 35 goals. There were 19 of them. Seeing if did you actually if we have how many games he's played in the league? Incredible source. That guys is how you start a fucking stream off. To be honest with you. At least it's entertainment. I mean that's always a good thing. Let's have a look see if there's anybody here I know in the chat. Mad man, how's it going, buddy? I've just seen your name hiding in amongst them stupid ass fucking host raffles. I do, but uh, we have literally led the league the entire way. We've never been out of first. This is insane. But we carry on now. On we go to second game of the stream. We're against Hereford. Now, this is a team that did cause us problems in the first match. Even when we were on that superb run, any national teams in there? There is, Yeovil. And that's Oxford and Chesterfield, St. Albans, filed. Um, uh, Yeovil. Actually, oh, they got put up by Barnsley. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? St. Albans beat filed. Okay, that's curious. So we, at the moment, are on course for a very, very successful season. But remember, think about it this way. We lose five in a row, which is feasible. We're better than 90% of the teams in this league. I think Fylde are better than us. I'd say Spennymore are slightly better than us. Um, Chester as well, which is bizarre to think, even though they we're getting crushed by ourselves. And look, another play from Kettering has gone. 
it's nice to see the non-league teams are all kind of acquiring players. I do think that's a much better feature in this particular game than the previous one. But yeah, guys, it has been a very, very entertaining start. Six goals scored in the first match. Unfortunately, we conceded three, but I mean, you know, what can you do, I suppose? It makes Richardson look really, look really, really shit in the stats. But um, if Adam's not happy, he can swivel, quite frankly, but we will move on swiftly. We're against Hereford now, second game of the stream, guys. We are at home this time. Last time, we only just managed to scrape a 2-1. We have a much better side now, and we are playing much, much better than we were. Um, we haven't got anybody who wants... Uh, James Hardy wants first-team football, whatever. <laughs> I'll try and loan you, I suppose. Um, I haven't got an affiliate yet. Um, off of the clubs. I, you're not, it's not going to work for you, kiddo. I'll do a 70% wage, because that's the minimum without pissing off the board. Uh, loan... I cannot physically offer him a bit. I can't offer you a deal, can I? I can't do it. You're not good enough. Uh, so we're firm favourites. Uh, we've now... We're actually both on a full match and beat and run. But we'll see Chorley and Boston. Boston fell to 11th again. Fucking hell. See Chester all of a sudden. They're right back amongst the playoff picture again. File Gloucester... What? I expected Bradford to be down there. I mean, they're always fucking down there, but... Wow, okay. Kind of crazy when you think about it. Uh, right, I know that you... To the... Games are pretty close together, but I think everyone's still playing. We'll move you back up to... Let's have a look, please. Oh, there's plenty. Of... I might swap Richardson to main keeper, and this retard to fucking normal. Like he's he's done all right, but he just makes r stand out. The thing of Richardson, you will see goals fly past him. Idem makes fucking stand out errors. That's the difference. Errors which cost us matches, as opposed to this guy, who just doesn't really do too much to cause any issues. Wassell, Osborne, Woods. It's, it's exactly the same team. I'm going completely unchanged here. I can't do anything about Goodridge. He's not good enough. I can't take out Jake Malt because he's playing out of this world right now. Straight into the second match. And a swig of Coca-Cola. I do actually have a McDonald's drink, which I feel quite guilty about because I didn't drink it yesterday. But but this crazy-ass team... Formation, sorry. If we played this on the last game, you just get drubbed every match, but... I need to leave that fucking RF1 group, man. Seriously. Only there because I'm the one who founded the cunt. Um, I know there. None of my former players in this team. Nope. I do know them, but I don't know them, if that makes sense. Um, <coughs> of course, we have got two strikers who are. Well, our two strikers have got a combined of 60. Who's that in? What Pokemon is that? Fletching. I like that one. We'll go this one. <coughs> They got we have enough Pokemons, right. So, 13-point lead at the top of the table. This victory, if results go our way, will give us 16 points up top. That's f a five-match losing streak and still being top of the table. And in that time, we'll just change over our strategy. See what I mean, guys? Happy days. McLean with a free kick, though. Led it away by Lennon. Oh, that's here. Good catch by Richardson. Didn't fanny it up, which is good. But none to in that situation. High pin forward. Evans. Moves it right back up. Man, a really safe pair of feet there at centre back. Dernley. Found his way to Bainham. Bainham slowed down. Dernley. Pings it in. Deep and And fire is offside. It's not. The one goal that was. Don't be damned. That's an unbelievable goal. Vision. How's that to start a match with a counter attack? Boom! He wants it offside. He comes from behind the defender. DDG bags 35 of the season. Taylor, O'Reilly picks up the game. He's got, I think, his first assist in about four months. <coughs> just like the ball. Just don't move that up, mate. Don't move. Just play it short if you need to. There you go. Newton. 
he can hoof it up and it only goes as far as the keeper who keeper are playing fucking volleyball at the moment dearly Kirby we're just swamping the they swamped us back got to be careful here it forward great header by I believe that was O'Reilly Malt Bon sees Bainham on the run Bainham to DDG what a great save and what an ass what Guys, head up. Get back on the get back on the horse, man. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Don't go delving. Don't go fucking delving into fucking shit shows. We're okay. We've had enough of them over the years. Obviously, this week, guys, from Tuesday onwards, I will be focusing on Mass Effect. Uh, that'll be all. I'll be pretty much streaming day and night. So, I want to get that series absolutely done and dusted. There'll be long streams in the day, short streams at night, of course. Try and break it up episodically, but you can only go so far. It is easy to do, but obviously with side missions, etc., I'm going to have to grind them all out in one go. Here we go. Evans for hell from the not out of the clear yet. Yeah. What a save by Richardson. But that should have been buried. Great save. Rock side of the keeper. Can we keep the lead this time? But it's perseverance, Dean has got the point, Dean on the run. He's not got the pace, I don't think. He's going to have to stop, we have to stop, and we lost the ball, okay. Evans now, with another highlight for Hereford, fucking hell. Hereford are for the highlights, aren't they? Oh, Kirby's got the ball, he's got to watch out, he's got a book in. Okay. All right, then. I don't know, I was giving the ball away once already, Malt also. Oh, Newton. It's a DDG, but he's given it away. Oh, Riley, no! Fuck's sake! Absolute defensive shambles on the back again. <sighs> Not without our offensive firepower, which you really want to have to do most of the time. Burnley doesn't really go anywhere. And now we've got to, we're going to get pressed again. We've got to watch out. Our defence is not good enough here. Richardson holds on. Lennon. It's O'Reilly. It's just a loose cannon, O'Reilly, but Dearly's on the ball. It's another Buxton game that's broken down into a fucking all out brawl on the pitch. So we've got to make sure we win the header, and he does not win it. We are very fragile going back on Quinn. Not a bad shot. Actually passing this summer. We're getting booed. We are getting booed by the home fans here, even though we're literally light years ahead of the rest of the competition, but we're still in the first half at the moment. Once again, it's another four goal fucking first half. If we get another one, it'll be our second five goal first half of the stream. We've only played two fucking matches. We didn't bag the third, our third goal this time. It is at the moment. 2-2 two, two, 
Retired defenders. Right. Okay. I am disappointed. I'm not going to bullshit him. Obviously, Richardson's not going to get happy by it because I'm disappointed. Richardson's been shit. Daly's been playing very, very well. I'll give him that. And DDG's been fantastic, but no other person on the pitch has really stood out. Uh, yes. Bring Brisley on. That's why he's on the bench. That cover up right back. Ideally, we could need to use seven people on the bench. We could put Clarkie on the bench as well. But three defenders, two midfielders, and a striker. Or a centre mid, an attacking mid, etc. Uh, let him for Wassel. Wassel comes back on. <clears throat> we did concede a goal when he swapped over, but we'll wait and see. Grizzly. Bain up. Grizzly. Cross it in. DBG, can he get there? Nope. Evans. And we're at, we're, we're at arm's length again. Outpacing us on the wings. It's where our strength usually lies. And that left back has carried on. It's just a fantastic save. Still up tall. Squeeze it in the near pokes. Well done. Did, did you, oh, Riley, sorry. Did you know Riley really both over the same ball now? That's better than this. Good header by Newman. Plays it as far as Russell, who will give it to Danley, and then we move away from the highlight. Why is Richardson not happy, bro? <laughs> I understand Russell being a bit pissed, but come on, man. Risen. Good. Big Simit Russell! Oh my god! Just over the bar. Do you sometimes get the feeling that it isn't going to be your day? And Hereford are probably going to be more likely to feel that. Oh, Sammy Oak is coming on! Fucking hell. Alright. Bit of a surprise. He was injured. Fuck. Okay. Ball away from that left hand side. Russell, nice. Stanley. Does give the ball away quite a lot. He's got to, he has to have a quick release because he does he hasn't got much acceleration, but he has this time. I did you know he didn't get there? Newton, 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 just get the ball away, get the ball away. Newton! Fuck's sake. Sammy out. He doesn't play very often anymore. DDG with a hat trick! Show me the game winner. Fucking believable. Sammy out of all people. Bench. Beautiful assistant, DDG just did the rest. The man can't stop scoring. It is frightening. But Newman is injured. Comes off the board. Clark's injured. He's a shot. That's a left back here. Good save by Richardson. That's all clear. Sorry, guys. Oh, and that's brilliant by Bainham. Oh, but Sammy will give it up. They're going to keep a Visser. Throws it right upfield. That's all brilliant coverage from the injured Newton. To keep that ball away from our fucking left-hand side of the pitch. Even an injured Newton does a better delivery than half of the players on the pitch. Brisley. Dearly. Bainham. Beautiful. Absolutely fucking delightful. Dearly stepping up. Finally! Ah, Bish is on the he's going to get his uh, team to have to get fired. That was direct football, absolutely at its finest. Will Bainham grabs the win for us, you'd imagine, but get the ball away from Newton, man, honestly. Fucking sadists. <laughs> to work. Need to get the ball away from Newton. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, it's that. Yeah, okay. That was delightful football, I know. Uh, Hereford tore us to pieces. Jack Lee, welcome back to the lake. Much love, my lady. Hope you're having a lovely morning. Got it right again. Twice now. Brilliant. Fucking 4-2. That's how we do. Back-to-back -back wins. We've scored 10 goals in two games. CDG scored five, Bainham scored four, three or four. I'm going to actually turn around because I'm very happy with that. The 
back to back over Hereford. We actually had two games in a row, literally against Altrincham, which we slapped them on. Uh, Spenny Moore won, Darlington are in trouble. And that's a bit. <laughs> Darlington don't get the form back. They're going to fall right out of the playoffs here. They're literally on the worst form in the league, pretty much. Yeah, once again, we had more shots. Newton only out for a day or two. Okay. Uh, DDG has now scored 37 in 36. It's yet another fucking hat trick. There's absolutely nothing they can do about him. DDG, once again, player of the game. Yeah, Hereford are just they're doing all right, but nothing good. 8.8 .8 by DDG. He just basically stepped up, scored, stepped up, scored, stepped up, scored, did fuck all else. <laughs> That's how it went. But um, a couple of the goals were wonderful goals. We've got Blythe next. There's only so much I could do to offer for a loan for them. Kean Moore, goalkeeper. No. Oh my god. This is going to be another one where if we float with high crosses, we should be able to deal with them comfortably. Oh, fuck it. I've just seen um, a WWE Supercard. Um thing. I'll go back on that tonight, I think. Recruiting focus still not on A. We're named in Team of the Week. Of course we fucking are. The striker's just absolutely terrorising the whole league at the moment. Blythe, who we are against next or against Chorley, we will have a, a bigger gap between games. And Blythe got beat by Chorley. And I believe we're at home. So, we could really, really bury Blythe here. Banbury are actually vicious actual. Bish's co-op team. I can't say Bish's team anymore because he got fucking fired from it last night. Lol. Um, is it Bam oh, there you go. Bam, we have lost a player to Maidenhead. Mass Exodus continues. There he is. Uh, we've played a few new players in there. Um, not that it's really made a difference. And Declan Poole is gone for eight weeks. Don't really use him. Not really in the plans, but... You know, it is always a bit of a bummer when you get an injury on the team. Makes it cost more money at the fucking physio office. Guys, I've got hair stuck in my mouth, sorry. Ugh! Hair literally dissolved in my mouth. I don't know how I got there. In talks with Sherp and Hoovy. Who the fuck are they? Logronis look just like fucking hell. All these international-based teams are just signing players from the league. Jesus. I'm surprised that an Azerbaijani team hasn't come in for Taz to me. I'm sure that'll probably come to fruition very soon. Five views, guys. Welcome in. Thank you very much for taking the time to tune in and watch this. I see you, Roscoe. I see you, Madman. Jacqueline, of course. All three of you. Thank you very much for tuning in. And obviously, there may be somebody who hasn't registered an account who's watching as well. They pose a little threat. Everybody poses threats. And who the fuck it? Ooh... Okay. That's interesting. Um, I'll try and sign him. 90k. His contract's running out this year, so I'm going to go with 89. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. We are, of course, fame favourites. We've... Can't play Tazdemir. What Pokemon have you got, guys? It's Lantern. I like that Pokemon. I'm going to catch it. Fuck it. Why not? Have it. Uh, fuck the FA Cup. We're not in it anymore. Ah. Uh, uh, ah. Okay, didn't want to come. Never mind. We've got good players anyway, so fuck them. Uh, right. We've got ourselves. It's literally going to be the same team, I imagine. We're going to go for a smoke as well, guys, before the start of this match. We're on game three. Um, so yeah, um, the team we are playing here is obviously going to be um, uh, this guy, uh, Richardson. Sorry, I could get my fucking words out. Um, who could we put on? Midfield centre, midfield centre. Uh, Richardson, Richardson, Richardson. Where's Goodridge? Oh, there he is. Pissed off, as per. Um, right, okay, there's literally nothing we can really do. Uh, what about um, Cairo? Can you play both sides? No, you can't. So I'll actually leave you off. I'll just leave you rotten on the bench for the time being. I can't take off Bun. I can't take off fucking Dernley. There ain't no chance of me taking off any of the back line because everyone on the back line is worse. Idem has proven he's a fucking retard. Goodridge isn't as good as Malt at the moment. 
And how can you take off strikers that have 70 goals combined? Nobody caught the Pokemon. Guys, give me two minutes back now.
How you doing? Sorry, I've just seen you there. <laughs> How you doing? Pops another time. That's. Um, oh, I'm still here. Yeah, I literally went. I've just literally gone for a smoke. <laughs> Sorry, give me a second. I'm just gonna. So I'm, I'm literally watching one of the other lads. I'm watching Bit Bish is streaming as well. Um, so I've just kind of got his on the background of my tablet. I've got mine on my laptop. So just so I can kind of cover both streams and both chats, basically. Bunny, lovely stream last night. Really, really happy I raided you. And if you get any trolls in this chat, I'll just get a, I'll show you how to deal with them. <laughs> First time, trust me. Uh, are you still here, Bunny? Actually, I don't even know. Let's just double check the viewers. Do, 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 do. I can't fucking see anything at the moment. We're going live now. Oh my god, we've got a thing going here. Yeah, Bunny, I see you still there. I see you still there. There we go, Mott. So we've got Lennon. Lennon absolutely vomits the ball upfield. That's not going to work, unfortunately. Let's get this fucking banner. Why is the banner coming in? Hide the bloody mouse a minute. Berkey. Berkey with a beautiful play. Oh, throwing it through to Bainham, who apparently is best skills in the air in this match. But give it to DDG anyway, and that's another fucking goal. For the love of Lord. He can't stop scoring. That's a beautiful goal that was. Holy cow. Could have passed it. Crossed it instead. And we won the lap inside 35 seconds. That's a ridiculous start to the stream. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Four of you guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Hope you're having as good an evening as I am right now. Bloody hell. Absolutely cane in the stream to bits. But we move on now, and we usually do score first, then we concede. Score, concede, and then just go mental. Tossed it in. Bon. Bon. Oh, tried to go for the curl, but it didn't work. So call it O'Reilly had to get the first Newton to let in safe pair of feet in defence at the moment. Bainham. Is DG actually gonna get there? Did he actually got there? Oh just past the post. Every time we get the ball in an offensive position, it seems like we're going to absolutely bury the ball. God damn it, I didn't realise Bunny was even a fucking thing. Oh, I'm gutted about that, man. Bunny had a fantastic stream. <clears throat> damn it. Every time, I do this every time, guys, honestly, but this team is just absolutely scary as fuck, I'll tell you. Oh, no, what is scary is the fact that we've lost, no, no, I hope we haven't lost him. Oh, don't do this to me. We don't need anything to interrupt the flow of this team right now, and I feel this could very well do it. I mean, Ando might be able to get himself back in the team, but, I mean, we don't really want him. Not at the moment, anyway, bum with the free kick, crossed it in, ran him. Oh, my God, that was with his weak foot. If you want to score for this goal for a club, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do it. Bud usually goes for the shot. The goalkeeper might as well just stood still with a lot of chance. Ten shots in the first 25 minutes have led to two goals. And we are absolutely careering onwards in this series. Newton crosses it in. Did she just over the bar if it was better than that for me? It seems like Diddy G does better with advancing headers and then you've got Bainham who could just head the ball from anywhere inside the 18 yard box and it seems to fly in. Lennon's got a goal. Got another cross from Bourne. Cleared out this time by Dale. Kirby. All the way back to Brisley who pings it back to Kirby. Back to Brisley who lumps it forward to nobody. Hoofs it there. I think, oh guys watch out Brisley. Beautiful. Kirby hoofs it forward. Bainham DDG three. play from all aspects and all angles of this team right now. Obviously we have got a weak spot and that is goalkeeper. Lofted balls over the back line is our biggest problem. And here go oh, where do we come guys 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 come on wake up wake up yeah prisoner just out muscles the blithe striker and the keeper just punched it I see what they mean by weakness with Eggers and all that now. Gotta watch out though. Kirby oh Kirby fights for it. And then again this time goes along the ground to Newton, who goes along the ground to Bond. That's a foul, but they, they play on. It was a foul, he didn't get the ball at all, but Kirby just gets the ball right back. And Bond passes to Dearly. He's over to Bond. Waits for the pass, Bainham. It's four, three, sorry, well, it would be four. It's three-nil, in 
the first half, for the love of Christ above, this team is scary. This team is just scary. They keep a cannot deal with it if the ball's into this box. They cannot deal with it. They, they can't deal with it. It's almost just cross the ball in. This is just absolute destruction. Just, I don't know what. Well done. Shot them down and destroyed them. Life are just a shadow of where they were at the start of the year. They give us a tough game to start the year, but obviously since we've had Lennon and Bainham, both players who are new in, all three goals have been involving a new player that I've signed. We've made the correct signings. We've not splashed out the cash too much. Give myself a financial boost, because why not? But absolutely wonderful that Evans, though, for Blythe. Good shot, I'm going to clear it away. And that's just past the post. That would have been a really lovely work goal. Hope Birky isn't injured for too long. Hopefully about, well, if it's just a knock, hopefully it doesn't actually even classify as an injury. Really. The centre mids haven't really done much in the last game or two. Kirby's just intercepting and doing what he does the best. I want to get everybody focusing. I don't want anybody to go and concede any goals at all. We want to keep a clean sheet here. Richardson hasn't kept a clean sheet for a couple of a couple of episodes now. Headed away. O'Donnell. <coughs> De Gracia. Brisley cocked up. Damn it. And that was absolutely appalling. I mean, I've got a five-year-old daughter, six this month, who um, sometimes does put her um, shoes on the wrong feet. I guess there's an adult here who also does. Uh, <laughs> basically, Blythe have come back at us in the second half. I know. Oh, fuck. I was dreading this. I was dreading this. <laughs> the red injury bug strikes again. And G puts it in. Ah. Meet new, robs it in. Can we survive? Oh, fucking hell, I thought it was going to be a fucking red card. There usually is when that sort of freeze animation happens. We are struggling here. And another great save by Richardson. And we walk the ball out of the box. And we come on the counter exceptionally well. Well done, guys. As we persevere on, oh, yeah, it was a double collision, I think it was. And um, Bainham, we're going to take Bainham off. I don't want to risk him. We, we can't risk him being injured. No way. We'll bring on Woodsy. I believe he is pressing for an attack. I mean, he's had three games off the bench. He scored twice. So, I mean, just want to give him a run out. Save Bainham for the last few minutes. And, yeah, excellent stuff. It's not a clean sheet yet, though. And it still is at the moment. DDG of our top scorer heads the ball away. Great clearance. They still have the ball, Blythe. Next time, Richardson put it in the right position. We've got a good area. Oh, I don't know where that is, so I'm going to leave that one. And guys, clean sheet. Blythe humiliated in the first half. Utterly humiliated. It could have been way more. They did do very well to get back into the game. Well, they played their way into the game in the second half, but we're never in the game, so to speak. Concern about Newton. Yeah, just remarkable. There wasn't a fault there with 15 points clear of second place, which is once again darling. It's interesting. They're having a bit of a tussle for second, but Bun injured. Oh, that's a big injury, go. Bainham's impressive. Bainham very impressive. Darling to beat Spennymore. We have to play both of those teams again. Bainham is just playing exceptionally well. He was player of the week again. We've got another player. Player of the week. Newcastle almost come and stuck against Cambridge for fuck's sake. <laughs> Um, any upsets there? I don't think there is. Arvel will flick through. Why not? We'll, we'll humour them, should we say. Full of Drew. Um, uh, whatever. Burnley Swansea. Burnley, that is actually their emblem. Uh, Tottenham Drew Blackburn. Mini upset there. Watford Coventry. Nottingham Forest beat West Ham. Okay, cool. Glad you did. Whatever, I suppose. 
Oh, the A grade now. We are absolutely soaring. We have scored 13 goals in three games, guys. It's absolutely scary. And that's the first time we've looked defensively astute at the back as well. Villa and Wigan. And Wolves and Man City. No upsets. Wherever you look. And a great way to end the stream, guys, is Kings Lynn. I'm going to double check to see if Bunny is actually streaming at the moment. Let's have a look. Bunny streams? I don't know. That was here yesterday. Lots of views for Bunny. Fair play to her. Hmm. Okay. Just double checking. Uh, two views at the moment, guys. We were up to five and six a while ago, but we're down to two now, so not a problem. We will continue streaming. Like, I no, uh, someone from over there goes to there. Uh, Bambria losing players, which Farsley are losing players too. So far, Rag Radcliffe signed Botroid. <laughs> the guy who I added um, the national for um, Bradford City, Bradford Park Avenue. Sorry. Oh, Gomez didn't want to sign. Okay. Buxton players named the team. Look, Harry Bunn, Bainham, and Lennon, but Bunn is not here. Now he's gone for 12 days. Newton, the Ginger, and there you go. They, they're tipping Bainham to get back in the Canadian lineup. He's scored a goal every game. As has DDG. I'm going to double check this guy. He's a Scottish goalkeeper. Doesn't want to sign, so why he's on this list, I have no fucking clue, but. Um, ah. No problem. We'll get new players coming up anyway, because I believe we're, coming, we're flying now towards March. Which I believe will be a couple of episodes time, if I'm correct. Chorley beats Boston. Alfreton beats Southport. So all kind of... All the teams grouping together in the mid-table now. Lining up at that playoff position. That shot, there you go. We've lost about £300,000, uh, which is kind of annoying. Ground maintenance, we've got 82k. So that's our biggest weigh-in. Biggest way so far, great training sessions by those guys. That's fine. Uh, Bainham, of course, gets played. Oh, my God. We had all three players in Player of the Month. Wow. Fucking hell. I have never had that. Jesus. Both strikers have scored six goals apiece, and O'Reilly's got one. We've never had that, guys. That's incredible. And obviously, I get manager of the month. Five matches. I, I don't know. It wasn't obvious. It was us or Kidderminster. But that, I believe, is the second time I've won this this season. I'm just going to double check on that. Uh, yeah, it is. So we've hit form at the Christmas period, which I do like at the moment. Yep, it is good. That's what we do. So we roll on in this series. This is our last game of the stream, guys. I will be doing some longer streams moving forward. But I think these are really, really good for kind of like YouTube and etc. I mean, I don't think many people have watched any of this series. I haven't actually got any thumbnails or anything. Uh, maybe because I've not kind of got around to making one. Kettering are losing all of their players. Yeah, Bradford Park Avenue, Kettering, Farsley, and Bambury. They're the four teams that are losing all their players at the moment. When that shit happens, you know that a team is going to be in trouble. But if I, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make a little bit of a shake-up here. I'm going to the next game, next stream, guys, because I do. I am up early in the morning. So I will do a very small stream here and actually make this a raid. Just so we, I might do five games in the next episode. Um, give me a minute. I'm going to go here. If I was this right. There you go. We're going to go do a raid, guys. Why not? Guys, thank you very much for watching. We're going to get straight back to this. Um, 
in the next few days. Uh, thank you very much for watching. All the best. Much love. We're going to go over the hashtag Glad Raid. That is hashtag Glad Raid. Much love. All the best. I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.